Being an intercultural is being almost permanently inspired by the different cultures, by the different reactions, by the different behavior. In our unstoppable globalized world, most probably we can conclude that there are no stereotype-free person in the world. We all have them. And probably more fashionable way to say it is that um, we are full of unconscious biases. They very often come on the stage when we feel a bit outside of our comfort zone, when we see that maybe the different way of speaking to each other, the different way of taking decision, the different way of reaction that we can produce are making us feeling not at home or not at ease. And it's quite important to understand that in intercultural competencies, um, it's not enough to be in a multicultural environment to call yourself interculturally competent. There is a much more of a knowledge, interaction, empathy, flexibility and tolerance that can make me feel or pretend that I have a, a little bit of intercultural competence in me. That means that, in fact, contextually speaking, there is always a multiple layers that I have to become more conscious of that can make me interculturally competent. So what are those levels? There is our national culture, which is a place that we do not visit often. I don't mean geographically, but I mean consciously, the way how I've been raised, what the values I possess, why I do things as I do. And I'm always in the mirror effect when I meet someone who is not from the same little tribe, let's say a cultural tribe. And nowadays we talk more and more about the third culture kids. That means that, that um, persons might be from multicultural uh, families where the several languages are spoken and they have been doing different schools all over the world. So it's quite difficult to take only one identity. The second layer goes to the organizational culture. That means the place where I've been working and all the experience that those second group of people um, did to me in a way. And the third part goes to our professional culture. That means that most probably I will be much more closer to Portuguese or Greek or Guatemalan uh, a, a colleague of mine who is a researcher in the anthropological field than with my Serbian hairdresser neighbor, with all my respect to the different jobs people do. But we might not necessarily see the same things on the same way. So this might be a kind of a challenges that are, they, they, they pop up when the things are not as such. Would be also limited if I would say national, organizational and professional culture, if, I not, if, I not, if I'm not putting the individuals in the, the center, with the, all the impact that these three layers are doing to, to the person. So individual culture is at the end as a product of multicultural, cross-cultural and transcultural differences that might be there. I mentioned that there are several multiple layers with which we are consciously or unconsciously uh, living with, but any intercultural encounter is always contextual and always situational. It depends. <laughs> there is no one way to say it, one recipe, but it's a crucially important to question yourself and to see what is on that invisible part of the culture of each of us. Now, culture in these multiple layers, as I said, what makes me who I am? Uh, do I know what the other people did to me in, 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 with their impact? And uh, what are the values that are guiding my behavior? Because my values and my assumptions are certainly influencing reactions of someone else's behavior and vice versa. If there is a misunderstanding in any intercultural uh, setup as inspire setup, is a probably very good invitation to stop and to discuss and to see in fact why it happened, what it happened. Try not to eliminate emotional side of our working conditions trying to use all analytical skills to understand why the things are happening, picking up that wonderful learning points out of it and feeling as enriched by, by the differences in a different context of communication, different meaning of the power distance that might be included also in our collaboration because we don't see the hierarchy in the same way, formality on the same way, uh, directness of the same way and also asking ourselves if the work sequencing, do I like to do one thing at a time or many things at a time is influencing my cognitive approaches of being maybe more inductive or more deductive. These are the most 
frequent ways when people may be stuck or, or contrary, discover the, the fascinating side of them that uh, they did not know just because they did not met someone else.